My Lords, I feel like I must leap to my feet at this particular <laughs> moment in time to, uh, and say what a great pleasure it is to follow the noble Lord Knight of, Weybridge, of Weymouth and his brilliant uh, systems thinking amendment here. Uh, and he described it as perhaps a hobby horse. Well, I think this is a hobby horse that's been exercised before in the House up to peak condition. He's groomed it and curried it, and it's in beautiful condition and perfectly presented to your Lordship's House. And it's a hobby horse that would enable the uh, government to leap out of the silos in which it so often finds itself trapped. Because as the noble Lord just outlined, um, this joins up thinking not just about addressing the, let's not forget, legal target of net zero carbon emissions by 2050, um, all of the other environmental targets that the government has set itself in the Environment Act, but it very much joins up issues of mental health, of well-being, um, of empowering pupils and indeed getting pupils involved in democracy, in society, in their communities. This is a step for active involvement. And it does cross over all of those departments, and so that, of course, makes it really hard, I know, for not just this government, but any government to deal with. But this is a really neat way of doing that, which, as the Noble Lord said at the moment, is set at a very modest cost level. It could be enhanced, but this is at least a start. And I know many of the young climate strikers who I've met um, out on the streets, outside their schools over recent years, would just really embrace and love this. And you know, if the government really wants to get them saying, well done, the government, this is a way they could do it. Um, and I do want to, I, I hope I'm not quite speaking out of turn here, but I do happen to know that the noble lady, the minister, um, uh, in a previous role, found that uh, citizens' assemblies were working very well in making decisions. Mm. This is the yeah. citizens' assembly, the participative democracy model that the noble lady the minister herself saw working in a different context applied to her current portfolio and what a wonderful piece of joined up government that would be. Mm. So having done that I must not forget to actually also very briefly speak to the amendment. I hadn't spotted the noble lord, lord Knight of Weymouth's amendment or I would of course have signed it and I certainly will be keen to support it in the next in the stage if he's happy with that but I did actually sign um, amendment uh, oh gosh here I've just lost my page in excitement um, amendment uh, 85 which is about the funding formula for rural schools and we've already heard some very strong arguments for this but I want to pick up the, no the point by the noble lord Lord B Deben talking about data and I was looking at and I've just tweeted out uh, for anyone interested because I do like to show my sources a study from the Centre for Education and Youth in 2019, which looked at the links between deprivation, location, geography, particularly rural location, uh, and both attainment and pupil progress in secondary schools. And it showed there is a very strong link between rural deprivation, um, between deprivation in rural areas, much stronger than there is in urban areas, in terms of both attainment and progress, particularly in secondary schools. And so I think when you look at the evidence, we tend to have a, you know, and as, I'm sorry, I've forgotten which other noble lord it was said that, um, you know, this house, the government is very London-centric, Westminster-focused. Um, we tend to think of the bucolic countryside. And there are, of course, very many lovely and very wealthy areas of the countryside, but there are also areas of extreme deprivation. And I think about schools that I've visited both in Cumbria and North Norfolk, where really we are not giving pupils the kind of chance they should be giving. And this is, again, a modest amendment, but would at least ensure that, the, ensure that these issues are considered.